you guys and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Lauren. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I create fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I am so excited for today's video because the time has finally come. We are going to be decorating for Ramadan today. I'm really excited because this is my first time actually getting to decorate for Ramadan because it's my first time living outside of my parents' house. So I have been accumulating so much decor. The past couple weeks, I have some really good stuff and I cannot wait to show you guys. The main areas I'm gonna be decorating are my TV console, my kitchen, and my dining room table. Most of these pieces are from small Muslim-owned businesses, which I love supporting. I will link all of them in the description box that I can and I do have some discount codes so I will put those there as well. All of these pieces are really good quality and things you can invest in in the years to come. It's not realistic to buy new Ramadan decor every year but this was my first year like accumulating stuff so I did get a lot of stuff but it's going to last me for a very long time. So I want to do a little haul of everything I got and then we will get into decorating. I feel like you guys are seeing a lot of the Muslim influencers with a lot of the same decor pieces, but that's because there's only like so many like Muslim businesses that sell Ramadan decor and I feel like we all just get the same stuff because it's the best stuff. So you might have seen these pieces before, but that's because they're just that good. Starting off with these little lanterns, they are from Days of Eid. I feel like some lanterns can kind of look a little bit cheap, but these are really good quality. Also from Days of Eid, we have this moon and star platter. I love these to like put dates or just little treats on. I tried to get some from Amazon from a different brand, but they were like terrible quality. These are really nice and thick wood. They also sent me this Ramadan Mubarak banner, which I'm really sad I don't have anywhere to put it, but I want to show it to you guys because it's so pretty. It's this burlap material and it says Ramadan Mubarak. So pretty to put like on your stairs or if you have like a nice mantle but like I said we just don't have that many options so I'm just gonna save this for another year these little acrylic signs I had last year as well they are from Cedar Olive Home and they're just so pretty next we have these really really good quality masjid sculptures I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere my sisters have them as well they're from a brand called Razem and you guys their stuff is incredible Wait till I show you their new collection of stuff. Like when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. Like so, so beautiful. These are really, really good quality. Like I said, they're literally made out of like cement and I'm planning on putting these on my TV console. Next, we have a couple pieces from their Arabesque collection. And when I saw these, this is what I was freaking out over. I was like, I have to have those. They are made out of cement, like the same material as the sculptures, like such good quality. I'm gonna give you guys a little close up. Like how stunning is that? I cannot wait to keep these for like years and years. And then we have this beautiful piece, which looks amazing on its own, but it comes with a little topper, which I'm gonna grab. So we have this little moon and you can just place it on top like this. Oh, isn't that so cute? It also fits in this sculpture but i think i'm gonna put it in the other one another piece from razem we have their knot sculpture it came in a few other colors as well but of course i chose the cream color and it is just so beautiful and then at last we have this little moon dome jar which you can put dates nuts little treats in i just think it's so pretty these lanterns are actually the only pieces that i had from last year i got them from anthropology i will link them if they're still available but i like that they look kind of antiquey the brass is kind of like worn a little bit, but it looks like that on purpose. I think next year I might add a few more because I only have three. These last few pieces are not exactly Ramadan decor, but I want to put it out during Ramadan and I'll probably just leave it out. It's this Tatris pattern cutting board, which I found on Etsy. And it's funny because Lena found the exact same one and we literally didn't even talk about it. I also got this really small one that I'll put in front of the other cutting board but it has the map of Palestine and an olive branch. I just thought these were so beautiful and I can keep them out year round. That's pretty much it for my decor. Like I said, I will link everything down below and include all the discount codes if you guys wanna grab some stuff as well. But let's get to decorating.
show you guys. It is the next day. So I finished um, decorating the space around Madon yesterday and it looks so good. I was planning on filming my tablescape yesterday as well, but we ran out of time. So I'm just going to do that today. And I'm actually filming a bunch of Ramadan content today. So I'm really excited. Um, I don't, I think I mentioned this. I wanted to do like a little series where I try a new Middle Eastern dish every week, like something new that I've never made before. So today I'm going to be attempting to make what I am and I'm a little nervous, but you know what? It's not going to be a how-to video. It's more of just like we're figuring this out together. I called both my mom and my mother-in-law to get their recipes and they were pretty much identical. And honestly, I think the hard part is just rolling them. So if I can get that down, that I think they'll turn out. And actually my husband has one of those rolling tools that rolls the grape leaves for you. I don't know if it actually works. We're just gonna try it out today. And if it doesn't, then I'll roll them by hand. I wanted to film it before Ramadan so I can get it posted the first week. So I guess this is another little update, but I actually hired an assistant about a month ago and she has been incredible, you guys. Oh my God, like I thank God every day. Like she, we are just like the perfect fit for each other. She just helps me with so much and it really was time that like I needed a second set of hands and so I am just like so so thankful for her. So she's actually coming over today to help me film. This is her first time coming to my house to film and so I'm really excited because sometimes it's just nice to have a second set of hands. Um, usually she like takes my Instagram pictures and we shoot like elsewhere. She's seriously the sweetest. I love her so much. So I'm just going to eat a quick breakfast before she gets here and then we'll get started. I feel like after making the mensif, kind of boosted my confidence when it comes to cooking. So now I feel like I can do anything. But what I end up is definitely one of the more difficult dishes. So we'll see. Okay, I'm about to get dressed so we can start filming. And I have a few Abaya options. I wish I could ask you guys in real time and help me pick one out. So Abaya and Co. sent over some Abayas and we have two options. This one is black, it's a little bit more basic. And then this one is green, it's like a velvet green. The material is so beautiful. And then underneath I would wear this little Abaya slip from Veiled Collection. The white is perfect with either of the options, but we'll try them both on. And decide. They must have sprayed these with oud or something because they came out of the package smelling literally so good. Here's the black. I wish I could show you guys full length. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna have such a hard time deciding. The stitching is so pretty on these. Let's try the green one on. Oh, this is so beautiful as well. I don't know. Maybe I'll wear the green. I feel like it's a little bit more Ramadan-ish. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go with the black. They're both like really pretty, so you can't go wrong. Okay, so we're in the middle of making grape leaves. I'm filming it mainly for TikTok and Instagram, but I also wanted to show you guys here on YouTube. So I had a little freak out moment because I thought that I like got the proportions wrong for the grape leaves. I called my mother-in-law, like I asked you, like I told you guys, and she told me two pounds of ground beef and three cups of rice for one um, jar of grape leaves. So that's what I did. And then when I started mixing it, it just looked like way too much meat. And so we just looked up a recipe and they said the same proportions. So that's right. I don't know why to me it just looks like a lot of meat, but I'm just gonna do what I'm told because I'm not the expert here. But my husband had this, what is it called? Dolma apparatus. God knows where he got this, but it's basically specifically for rolling grape leaves. And I'm just gonna, like, I, I could roll them on my own, but I just, I wanna try this out because I'm very, very curious. And I think, like, whenever I used to roll these with my parents, like, we always had to cut the stem off, but I, now they come, like, with the stem already removed, which I, I guess they just started doing that. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Put in grape leaf. Step one, like this. Okay, so the coarse side is up. Mm -hmm. Shiny down, yeah. Okay, shiny side. Mm -hmm. If this actually works, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, then we put a little bit of meat. I 
still think we should roll them because this is not a good roll. Yeah, but that's just... That is so <laughs> funny. It would take a minute. <laughs> we did it! Okay, the little apparatus was a complete fail. So we're just going to roll them ourselves. But I'm trying to figure out how much meat to put. Maria thought that it wasn't enough, which I kind of agree. So we're going to look up a recipe. You know why this looks so different? Because my parents... Like, my, one of my sisters doesn't eat red meat. Oh. And so they started making them with just rice. Oh. And so I haven't seen... The portions like yeah, this. Yeah, in a long time. So we're taking a little lunch break. We are like not even halfway done. And we're like, what the heck? This is taking so long. But it's okay, we're gonna get through it. I'm actually only gonna roll half. I'm gonna save the rest of the meat. Maria gave me the idea to do like stuffed peppers and stuffed zucchini eggplant, which is an amazing idea. So we'll save that for later. This is my go-to Chipotle order. I do white rice, chicken, veggies, pinto beans, lettuce, pico. Oh, so yummy. And I get sour cream on the side and some chips, of course, and a poppy. And Maria has dark pop, which is such a good flavor. Yum, Yay. cheers. <laughs> okay, so we just finished. This took us like, so much longer than we were expecting. This was just one jar. And with two people, it took like probably two hours to roll all of them. So they're in here. Um, I layered them with like garlic and lemon juice and then the lamb as well. I kind of just seared it, and then it's gonna cook the rest of the way on the pot, but we're about to put it on the stove. So the grape leaves are on the stove. I put the timer for about an hour, so we're just gonna like monitor and see how they do. I'm like crossing my fingers, hoping for the best. We will see. But while that's cooking, we're gonna film my Ramadan table decor. I actually had to film this a while back for a Sephora, Ramadan ad which will be going live on their page which I'm so excited about and it's just so nice to be able to um, share part of our faith and have them have it a part of the Sephora channel. So I've already set that up once. I did share a little sneak peek on my stories but we're going to do it for TikTok and Reels today. So I just want to run through and show you guys a little haul of what we're going to set up. So I have this long table runner. It's like a... is this a linen? I don't know exactly this material, but it it's is mesh. Yeah, mesh. A, a nude mesh runner that we're gonna put down the center. And then we have these nude mesh napkins that I got from Amazon. And I'm gonna kind of tie them like this. And put it on the plate. So it actually came in like a huge pack and had so many colors to choose from. So I will link that down below in case you guys are interested. And then we're going to do some gold candlesticks, very classic. We have five of them, no six, we have six of them, so three on each side. And then we're going to do some nude candlesticks and I got this idea from my wedding planner because at our wedding instead of doing like white candles, she suggested we did nude because it just kind of adds some warmth in some depth and it looked so good. So I was like, I have to do that again. So these are from Amazon as well. And then I'm using my same anthropology lanterns that I showed you guys yesterday. And then inside we have these gorgeous ribbed candlesticks that are from Amazon as well. I got a bunch of this stuff from Amazon, but they're so pretty. I have to show you guys up close. They came in a really big pack in like a bunch of different sizes, but I love the ribbed. It just adds like a little more depth because of the texture. And then I'm gonna put my Days of Eid Moon and Star Plotter, which we have dates and almonds on. And then I only have one of those, so I'm gonna put that on one side of the table. And then this one is not as good of quality. It's from Amazon. I wouldn't exactly recommend it. It's like really cheap and flimsy, but this is all I got. So we're gonna put this one on the other side. And then I'm just gonna do my white plates and gold silverware. And just, we're gonna do that, keep it simple, and I think it's gonna be really pretty. So, let's do it.
Okay, we just finished setting up the table. It looks so beautiful and honestly, I feel like this isn't just like for Ramadan. It could be for like any occasion. The only thing that makes it like Ramadan vibes are the lanterns, but honestly, I feel like that could be pretty for anything. And then of course these, but it is so pretty. I will have everything that I can linked down below. It's time for a taste test. We gotta dip it in the yogurt. Mmm. Those literally taste like my mother-in-law's. They're so good! <laughs> I cannot wait for my husband to come home and try these. Okay, you guys, here is the final product. I will say these are so freaking good. I'm so proud of myself. They literally taste like my mother-in-law's. I did not expect for them to be good. I was... Oh, why are we so zoomed in? Sorry, guys. I was so nervous. Like, I just... I didn't have high hopes, but they are literally so good. And the only hard part was rolling them. I feel like if you have a friend doing it with you, you just got to have a little buddy to roll them together so you're not like doing the whole drive by yourself. See that? Mmm. So good. So good. I can't wait for my husband to come home and try these. Okay, Maria just left and I heated up the grape leaves again for my husband and I to have for dinner. He hasn't tried them yet, but I'm so excited for him to try them. They were so delicious. I just honestly could not believe that I made that. Hello, you guys. Good morning. It is the next day. We had a super successful and busy day yesterday. We got so much accomplished. Maria got here at 10.30 and she didn't leave until 7 p.m. We got so much done and it was just like so helpful and such a good day. So that was really good. Um, I was supposed to have house cleaners come this morning. I just wanted to do like a deep clean before Ramadan, but she texted me this morning and told me she had a flat tire. So um, I don't think that's gonna be happening today. But I mentioned this on my TikTok, but I have decided to get house cleaners probably like twice a month, every two weeks, because I just totally feel like I cannot keep up and I get really overwhelmed. I think I've mentioned this a few times. I just get really overwhelmed when my house is like out of order and I want to have the time to clean it, but I just don't, unfortunately. Um, so I just think it's gonna be so helpful to have cleaners and I literally cannot wait. I'm very grateful to have that option and it's gonna be the biggest game changer. I cannot wait and I actually really enjoy cleaning like I don't mind it but I think Ramadan is supposed to be on Monday the 10th if I'm not mistaken at least that's what the Apple calendar says no the 11th okay Monday night is the first night of Ramadan so I guess the first day of fasting will be on Tuesday so ah, I'm so excited I feel more ready for Ramadan than I have in the past I feel like I've just been like mentally preparing and I think it also helps like decorating your house, getting yourself like in the Ramadan mood. Um, I'm really excited. I feel like this year is going to be a really, really good one inshallah. It's going to be really different because this is my first year not living with my parents um, during Ramadan and I feel like just spending Ramadan with your family is just like so different and that's all you've known just like all being together breaking your fast together praying together like going to the masjid together I mean it's gonna be really nice I can't wait to spend like our first Ramadan together but it's just gonna be so different so I am a little nervous for like the cooking aspect I mean I cook every day anyways so I mean that doesn't change but I just feel like more pressure now that it's Ramadan and um, I just we also don't like to eat out a lot during Ramadan and usually like when it's not Ramadan, we eat out like twice a week. So I don't know, I guess we'll figure that out. But I'm just not gonna put too much pressure on myself. But it'll all work out. I actually went to the Arabi grocery store when I was back home in Texas and I brought back this stuff with me. So I wanna do a little haul of everything I got. Obviously I was traveling on the plane so I couldn't get any like meats or like vegetables or anything like that. But I got like some dried goods and things that I can't get here. Okay, first thing. We got grape leaves, which I made the uh, one of the jars yesterday. I got two jars. I guess I'll be making this other one sometime during Ramadan because it was not as hard as I was expecting. My husband loved them. I loved them. It was just very time consuming, obviously, but 
We got some grape leaves, herbic pickles. These are the best, if you know, you know. I got some red lentils. I was able to find some in my grocery store here, but it's kind of a little bit more difficult to find, so I just got some extra just in case. I got some Indian spice mixes, so we have a Cindy biryani and a special Bombay biryani. So I might attempt biryani one day. I love biryani, oh my god, so good. I would love to be able to make it myself, so we'll see about that. I got some shawarma spices, which is probably just like seven spice. All spice, black pepper. Yeah, this is literally just like seven spice. Me and my husband, we want to try and make falafel one night. So I got some dried chickpeas. And I also got the little stamp thing. Here it is. This little tool that you use to form the um, falafel with. Also planning on doing meshi one night, so I want to do stuffed peppers, zucchini, eggplant. Oh, so good. So I got a little core to core my zucchini with. So my mom makes the most delicious dessert during Ramadan. I'm pretty sure she got the recipe from one of, from one of our Libyan friends. Um, it is a date cake with semolina flour and then like uh, orange blossom syrup. It is so, literally so good. Like we only eat it during Ramadan. And I'm like dreaming of it, oh my gosh. So I got some stuff to make it because I really don't wanna miss out. And I just thought also it might be a fun recipe to share with you guys. So I got the baking dates. I will not be attempting my mole, like that's on a whole new level. I don't think I ever will, but this cake, I think, I think we can do. So I also got some semolina flour. I got some more frozen lojilla. That was it, I just tried to get some staples. We'll probably be eating a little soup a couple nights a week. I always like to break my fast on soup. And I will share with you guys what I'm cooking throughout the whole month. I know these are a lot of updates, but I just wanted to catch you guys up. So this may be a little sad for some of you guys, but I promise you it's gonna end up for the better. So I usually, for the past three years, I've done Ramadan with Lauren where I post every other day here on YouTube and I film every day. But this year I have decided to do um, one really long weekly vlog each week because I just don't think the every other day vlogs are gonna be possible this year. I just, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that happen. And I honestly think this will be better because I'll be able to make the vlogs longer. I will vlog all week long. You guys won't be seeing any less content. I just think it'll be better because I'll make the vlogs really long, probably like 45 minutes and y'all will get to see moments from the entire week so i hope that's okay with you guys but i will be posting daily sometimes multiple times a day over on tiktok so if you don't follow me on tiktok go ahead and follow me so you can keep up with me over there as well you guys know that every ramadan me and my sisters work with an organization so this year we will be working with pious projects to help raise funds for medical aid in gaza because our last campaign we did with them um to help raise funds for feminine hygiene products was such a success. Mashallah, we were able to raise like a really tremendous amount of money with the help of you guys, of course. So we just want to continue that and that will be our charity of choice for the month of Ramadan. I will share that link below because the um, that link will probably be live by the time this video goes live. So check the description box. As far as my goals for this Ramadan, I feel like I just want to strengthen my relationship with God um, and just like really hit the reset button. I feel like day to day, I just get so busy and so caught up in life that like, yes, I am praying five times a day, but I feel like I'm missing like that deep connection with God and I just need to be like more mindful of my prayers, like slow down, take the time and just really build that connection with God. So that's one of my main goals this year. Also some other goals, like I wanna be able to memorize a couple more surahs. I like to do that every Ramadan. I have the English translation of the Quran, which is the clear Quran. That's the one my husband has and my friends recommended that one as well. So that's what I'm gonna be using this month. Um, so inshallah, I'll be able to read a couple pages of that every day. I think we're also planning on watching Omar Suleiman's series every night, me and my husband together. Like instead of watching our show, we'll watch that series, which I think will be really nice. But I really wanna focus on my faith during this month and strengthen my relationship with God, better myself, stop any bad habits, and really just like hit the reset button this Ramadan. Such a blessed month and I'm so 
grateful to be able to experience another Ramadan and I'm sure you guys are already going to do this but please remember to, to keep the Palestinians and the people of Gaza in your duas, in your prayers this Ramadan. They need our prayers more than ever and especially during this month. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next vlog y'all will see will be the first week of Ramadan and we will jump into more Ramadan content. Love you guys and Ramadan Mubarak.